Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. Welcome to the video, this is Influence and I have FT40A Hannibal, which is their Cerebros, uh, the head for Fort Max. So we have the first piece of Fort Max and who knows when the body's gonna come out. Disclaimer, this is one of my favorite characters ever because uh, I'll tell you a little story, time. Um, uh, okay, let's get into it. I'll get into it later. So let's, let's get my initial thoughts. <laughs> you know how I do. I jump all over, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I said that disclaimer because I love this figure. I've been waiting for this figure. I'm waiting for Fort Max. I'm buying it. I don't care how much it is. I'm getting it. Um, I got to remortgage my house. I'm getting it. No, I'm joking. Please don't take that. Uh, just kidding. Anyway, if. I don't care what it, what I got to do. I'm getting it. If that's the only figure I get that year, whenever it comes out, 2032 or whatever, whatever year it comes out, uh, I'm getting it. I don't care because Fort Max is one of my favorite characters. And again, the initial thoughts, I get into that later. Why? But uh, it's not a perfect figure. Um, no figure is perfect. It's perfect for me. So there are some issues that I have with it. And one is these things right here that keep the legs together, pop out easily. I don't like that. Um, the other is the head, of course, pops off. I know by now you've seen probably videos or people talk about that. Uh, although it's not as bad as I thought when I saw people talking about it. Like mine doesn't pop off easily, but when you're manipulating it, it can pop off. I think there's a fix where you can take the spring out. I don't know if I'm going to fool with any of that, but I may if it gets too. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really feeling this guy. I like this guy. Um, again, and there there go that there. There goes that leg. So you can get it in. It doesn't stay in tight. And when you manipulate it, mine, it comes out. So that is annoying. I don't like that. Uh, that's a negative. If it wasn't such a great built bot, uh, great representation of the character. I know people wanted the toy version or the maybe the cartoon version, I think, um, which are different colors. Some people say it's a little plain. This is the other issue I have. It sort of does stay in as long as you get it in all the way. But of course, you know, the paint and all the gun also is the same way, you know, with the paint and all. It's hard to get in. You got to like really push it in all the way. If you don't have it all the way, it'll come out, but it doesn't, it doesn't just fall out. But yeah, what I was saying was, um, this waist right here is kind of loose and it goes like that while you're manipulating the arms and things. I don't know how, I don't know if there's a way to get it. Uh, I tried pushing it all the way down. It just doesn't, doesn't get it right. Uh, I like these a little out or I think they're kind of supposed to be that way, but they do get in because due to transformation. What else can I say? Again, I was talking about the plainness of him. He is plain, but I quite like it. Uh, I think it's a good representation. Uh, I, again, Fort Max is my ultimate favorite character. Headmasters were my favorite and you can fast forward this part. I, I probably, of course, there'll be chapters in the description and you probably already seen them. So I put this as a separate chapter, this little story time. Uh, Fort Max is my ultimate character, like my favorite character of all time. I will get everything Fort Max whenever it comes out, if I can, uh, if it's representative of the character that I love from G1. Um, now, I never watched Headmasters, so I don't know why I got my love of Headmasters, but I do know, well, actually, let me take that back. I didn't get my love of Headmasters from the cartoon, even though they were in the cartoon. My love of Headmasters came from necessity. I didn't get a lot of Transformers. I know there was one year that I got a, a bunch of Transformers growing up, but I didn't have the opportunity to get every Transformer that came out or, you know, the majority of them that came out. So to me, Headmasters, and this is weird, this is a little kid's thought, but headmasters were like getting two figures in one. 
So Fort Max was the ultimate headmaster because his head turned into a robot that was great. It was big. You could fool with it like a normal size robot. And then his head turned into a robot. So you had three figures in one. And that's, that's, that's my thought process as a kid. I was like, three figures for the price of one? Um, I'm in. I never got Fort Max. It's one of my holy grails to get an original G1. They're pretty expensive, so I don't know if I'm going to get it, but fan toys is probably going to be as expensive as getting a G1. Anyway, let's move it along. Let's go on to accessories. So we have the sword, which is painted great. Well, it does this in order to become the port. You do that and that, and I'll show it later. But yeah, the sword, it does all this comes together well it looks great it's painted top to bottom this paint is wonderful uh shows on camera just as it is this red uh very shiny very nice red or burgundy almost not even red uh and this is like a metal flake with the only thing is you can only have it in one particular hand because the notch is only on one side not sure why they did that maybe a function function of something but you can only have it over here uh because it doesn't fit over here so we have that we have his gun his gun is all white painted pearl and it's like it, it, it's like a pearlescent paint has good good sculpt maybe it wanted a little bit black in there or something i don't know it could be super accurate i don't remember anyway you got that gun. You got a card. Of course, cards. I don't really. He's he's strong. Super strong. Uh, you have a bunch of other accessories. I love that they've included kind of like a sound with their sound wave where you can take off pieces and put other pieces on now these are the plain ones that come on his side they they end up being on the side of the head when you turn them into fort max head i like the rigid ones that came so you get these and you'll get the ones that i'll show you in a minute and i'll also show how to take them off these as well i will show how to take it off and get access and put it on to there this just has some more molded details and you may like that. I like the plain ones with the molded details of the bottom pieces. So you can mix and match and switch. That's what I did with sound with their sound wave. And I love that they have that. You get a hand. Now this hand came separate. I'm not sure how everyone's doing it, but it's so you can grab the sword. So when the sword is in uh, the thing over here, he has it like this and it's sitting in there and he can grab the sword. You can put it in his hand and it makes it look like he's grabbing it because you can't angle those hands like this. And I think that's a nice touch. I always like when the hands are included in order to change this, you have to unscrew these screws, take off this hand. And of course, uh, put this hand on and it's just stuck on a ball joint. So you don't have to do no screws for this hand. You get a head for the headmaster, a screaming head which is exactly the same except it's screaming is painted really well. We'll get into that when I show his face call and you get a head for the big head. You get a screaming mouth. Uh, if you like those, you got the directions. I haven't even opened these. I actually use fans toys, uh, their video, which is actually great. And you get this stand, which is pretty cool. So I'll show you how this stand works. Pull this out like this pull this out like this it's simple put this here like this and it rests and then you have that and then he can if you put the hand on there he can grab it or you can move this like this so he can actually let me show you so there's a tab where this tab slides in and that's why it's only on one side. So I figured that out. I didn't figure that out before. Cause if you can see the tab like kind of slides up in there, it doesn't peg in there. And then you have that. And then you can put this here. 
and it's him. I mean, it would be him holding it. So it would be him taking it out of this thing. But other than that, you can just stick it in there and the tab just catches. So yeah, you got this and you can put the head on top as well and all of that. It's just, it's nice. It's orange, um, see-through. Little molded detail. Don't drop the sword. The sword is painted well. Hopefully I didn't scratch it up. I don't think I did. So yeah, you got that in. You have the box, which is just a normal fans toys box. Not too much. Won't spend too much time on it. Got the Hannibal. You got this stuff in the back. This shows product shots and a little uh, bio thing. If you want to read that, I didn't even read it. I probably will because, you know, this is like a grail. Now he does have a few gimmicks. You pull this down here and you see the spring. That's why the springs there and you can see speed strength and intelligence that's like the old headmasters and i'm pretty hyped about that because i don't know why <laughs> i just that's probably why i won't take the spring out because mine until mine starts to pop off because you can see i don't i don't really have an issue with it popping off like i can move it as long as you have these feet up as you're supposed to you can move it around i can move it up i can move it down I do have to hold it a little bit. You do have to push on it somewhat, but I mean, there's that. So let's compare him. Let's prepare to compare. So we have some fans toys, Decepticon headmasters here. We're going to compare him to. And he's about on par. We got some Autobot Headmasters here, which are uh, Make Toys versions, which they're kind of on par. And I don't know if it's weird because I'll have the Fort Max maybe ne next to him. <laughs> the Headmaster of Fort Max, that's the comic book version because he was a regular sized robot in the comic book. But yeah, there we go. We have that. Four Show his face up front, up close. Um, nice head sculpt on the money. Has the painted eyes. The paint is done super well. You can see that. Uh, the glistening. Not outside the lines. Uh, the faces is nice. Got this part. I put the symbol on here. I don't know if I like that symbol. I may try to get a better symbol. But for now, he was super plain. Even more plain. It's like kind of added a little bit to him. Uh, in the back, of course, he got a little backpack. He got to have a backpack because it's the face. But it covers that up well and, and kind of compact. And you can see I showed his face. But to transform him, you pull this up. to take. You can take this off to change the faces. But I don't want to change the face. Put it up pull this around i love that they added that it's not that's not on their under other headmasters i think that's great um i kind of i'm cool with them adding stuff now these feet that's one thing pull these legs down separate them now you're supposed to pull these feet around and twist the, this around this ball joint is super tight i don't know how many times i'm going to twist the feet around like that because i feel like the feet may come off now it's not a super big deal because if i get fort max and he's ever off and as a robot he's gonna be sitting in somewhere um probably so then you move the arms and i even put a little symbol on him just to make it look good Yeah, and I think, I think it's great. It's on par with the other headmasters, but I do like that they added the face hide. Uh, just, just a little touch. But you can see his face here, and this would be Spike. His head, his head moves down like that. Moves up about that. Goes side to side because it's on a ball joint. Uh, it can't really spin around due to the nature of 
it, I believe. His arms go all the way up, which is crazy. He has shoulder articulation, 90 degrees arm articulation. He has some abs popping off, as you know, that's true to his character. Uh, he doesn't do the hurdles because of the head, but he could probably get over a hurdle just like that. And he, it's on a ball joint, so he does have a swivel. He has a knee, of course, 90 degrees, and the feet go up, go all the way back, and they rock because they're on a ball joint. So there you go. He's just a little dude next to his body. I don't feel like trying to stand him up because it's going to take forever on this pad. And there you go. There you have it. So let's do his articulation. So his head goes down. Oh, okay. So now it's popping out. Now it wants to pop out. It didn't do that before, but now it is. So, hey, when you get it down, you can get his head down a little bit. It does pop off. It goes up like that, about that much, not too much. He can go side to side a little bit just due to what it is and he can go all the way around arms on hard ratchets all the way around soft ratchets out he has the bicep swivel that's super tight fans toys tolerance um and he has i think single jointed but the way the joint is you get the full almost um full articulation in the elbow his hands spin all the way around they go in let me move his thumb they go in all the way not really out his thumb has two it has a hinge and it's on a ball joint the hinge is on the ball joint and then the rest of the fingers are individually uh, articulated with the knuckles pinned knuckle knuckle knuckles as you would in a real hand so that's great waist he has a waist bend which is about like that you can get it you can get this up a little bit to get the full uh spin but it does have that gap there so you would just have to like kind of fake it if you want the full spin if you have it down, you don't get that full spin. You get like a little like, bloop, like, like hey, what's going on? I'm, I hurt my neck kind of look. So you get that. You can get these legs, these uh, skirts out the way a little bit. And he doesn't do the splits. So splits are not there. Again, you can fake it because you can open this up, put the skirts up all the way, and then you can get him to do the full splits but again you're faking it um but it doesn't it doesn't look terrible just making a note of it these two when you're maneuvering it there's no way to lock these legs down it's not hard to one thing they do have uh ratchets in there and also it's not hard to get back or to keep it back how it's supposed to be but you get the and you need to get this out the way in order to get the leg forward all the way and this is quite annoying right here that's probably one of my biggest gripes with this robot move this back it doesn't get the full hurdles but you do get ratchets on there like i say you get ratchets there and there so that's great you get the swivel at the thigh you get the knee that is, it kind of looks double joint, but it's not. You get 90 degrees just about. Feet, you go down, um, not too much up. You got these kind of, really the spurs are back here, but this is like some extra stuff that you can use in order to kind of balance the foot as well. And then you get a rocker that is not a great rocker. Um, it does rock so limited articulation and, and you you can see this yeah my biggest biggest concern 
Now it doesn't just fall out when you have it posed. So once you get it posed, it's all right, but you can see. And when it first comes, you actually have to do this. Like it comes out as well that it did. So let's take his head off and get into transformation. So what I like to do, I like to stay oriented. What I do first, I lift this up because I forget. Move this up, bend this down, and it's super tight when you first do it. Then move it back down and then push it in. Like that. You see how much space there is in that one? That's why you push it in. Move that up. Move this down. Again, it was super tight the first time I did it. Then push it in. So I do that. Then I turn this around. So I got I got it how it should be. Now let's do these arms. Move this down like this. Move this up. You don't have to move the fist any which way, which I do like that there's not specific ways that you got to move the fist. You can just keep it how it is, how the fist is normally that's how you do it so you move that move this up move that and there you go now i'm gonna tackle the legs which aren't hard but you need to know what you're doing so you move this up back in the legs and that's something you have to pull out when you first get out the box i will also show you so you move this out move this out then i move this like this move this like this now what you do is pull this out like that you can do it on both sides if you need to i'll do one at a time there's a little spot here you push that in push this in maybe i won't do one at a time <laughs> it's just it's just easier I pull this out. It's on a little sliding joint. You see how much space there is right there. It's like that when it's in, but you slide that out and that way it gives you a little more clearance and then you can slide it back down. Pull this out here, pull this out and then move it this way because it's that stops it. So you move it this way. You can get all this stuff out the way in order to get it past all that. And then you can move this out like that then you just everything's done except for this move the foot in up there and move this part this metal down then you can collapse the leg then you can move this down then it it's like this so again over here collapse this Already collapsed that. Move this out. Collapse that down. Move this out. Move this out. Need two hands. Move this all the way out. And then you can move this down this way. Then flatten it. Now move this foot in all the way. Then collapse this and move it out a little bit just so you can get some room. Then you can move it like that. I just leave it, leave it be. And you can see where you're at. Now with this, pull this down all the way. And move these arms. Kind of. Get them out like that and then pull them back. Double hinge. Move that back. But you got to do it at the same time. So you want to get this other one out too. Move that back. And then you see those two tabs. They go like over under. And there you go. I hope you saw that. So then I move this down. But don't peg it in yet. It's kind of intuitive. Like I started to peg it in. But you want a little bit of leeway. So you can deal with all this. Now you have all this here. Um, you can move this up. Just pull it 
I pull it up a little bit just to get it up. Um, but you can't put it all the way up until you move this up. So get this out the way as far as you can in order to deal with this. And I just stick a finger in there and then you it, it pegs on to the crown. Got to try to get it there. There we go. It's pegged on now. Face reveal early. Then you want to move this out like this, out like this, so you can get this in here. Kind of push that forward. Get it in there like that. Now you move, keep these arms up. But again, I wouldn't peg it in just to give it some room. Now you just move this down. There's a peg here, peg there that goes into that hole there. Peg that in there. Peg this in there. Get over here. Peg this in there. Peg this in there. It's not super hard. Then move that down if it's not down the way you need it. Then you can peg this up here. It doesn't really do anything. It just just uniform it to keep it because it it stays the way it stays like without you doing that. Um, and you just squeeze it at the end and make sure everything's together. And now you have Fort Max's head kind of display piece. If that's what you want to do. I'm kind of wondering if this will be on Fort Max or I mean, not on him, not this particular piece, but if there will be a piece like that. Now, what you need to do is transform the sword. I assume this is how he pegs into Fort Max or a piece of it. So you do that, push this in, then there's a hole right there. Stick that in there and this is what you have. I assume he'll, he'll probably have multiple uh, connections, but this will be one of them. Goes in and maybe it, it's probably like this. And then this thing, the ring, wherever it locks in at, probably moves around. Just look at this. His eyes are painted and they light up, which is great. Uh, metallic paint. They really look nice and well done. You can, uh, you push this to to light it up because there's a button underneath, but let's take this off. This is how you take this off. Here's the button that you're pushing when you push the little beard area, but there's a battery. I'm not sure what battery this is. LR or something probably. Um, maybe I'll try to find it and put it on screen up here, but I don't have one. I have a bigger battery and I have some smaller ones, but I don't have this particular one. So I got to figure that out. Uh, yeah, but you can, you can change this. These right here are what I was talking about. These came on it. I kind of like the molded details look like vents right here, but I still like the plain head, uh, crest thing. So yeah, you just pop these off. They just pull off. They are tight, but they just pull off and, and clip on to here with these. You can, uh, see how it would look. Uh, is that right? No, it's like this. I think. Well, I don't know. I think you can have it either way, which is like three different looks. I think. Is that right? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. I think it's like three different looks. So you can have it this way. If you stick it on over here, you just got to take these off. You can get to them, you know, easily. Or you got this look if you put it on this way. So I didn't realize it's like two, three separate looks or you got the plane look, of course. I like the plane head crest. That's how Fort Max was. You know, he wasn't a fighter. He. That's why a lot of people didn't like him, but <laughs> I know a lot of people that don't like Fort Max. So, I mean, this is a great looking head. It looks like Fort Max head. Uh, it's. It's what it is. It's a, it's a giant head. Like he turns into a giant head and I never thought I would get this and I'm going to take off. I got number 30. I, I've been taking them off and putting them on the books. 
just to keep them. I don't know why. But so let's go back in tradition. We always go back to robot and I'm going to have him in robot. So unplug these, which are super tight. Of course, unplug this. I kind of this does seem a little flimsy. It doesn't seem like bad materials or like it's going to break, but it does seem flimsy. So I try to pull this tab out since it's so strong uh, right here. Sometimes I even use a tool. Which if you have a tool, just stick that in there like that. Then move this up. Can't move it up all the way. So then I kind of. This is tight right here. So what I did was take my tool again and kind of push it in. It's tabbed in right there, like underneath there. And it, it can get kind of hard. So at the same time, move this arm out or these arms out, move this down, kind of pull this waist out of here and that double joint to move it as far back as possible so you can get room. Now you can move this all the way up. Make sure. Might as well fold that up there like that and then move this up, it has tabs. I can say those tabs right there are scrape paints scraping off after a couple. Um, and they actually do show as in robot mode, I mean in head mode. So that's unfortunate, but it's something that is going to happen when you have painted uh, figures. So what I do, I don't know, just to orient myself, I move this around here like this and then kind of move it up. Now you want to take this apart, move this back here on that double joint, peg it in, move it back on a double joint, peg it in, move this up, peg this in. This transformation is really nice and intuitive and, and not hard at all. Once you get oriented to where you need to. So then I'll pull this up. Move this down. I do one leg at a time to give me room. Move this out here. While I have it, then I'm moving it down. Then back in like that. This I thought was going to be a nightmare to get out, but there's like a little ridge and you just pull it and it's not it's not tight at all. So that's a great thing. Move this foot out. Move this up and over and down just a tad bit. Then this can move in here and it should fit right in there like that. You move this out here, squeeze that all together, move that up, squeeze that together. Then pull this out. This has not gotten any looser. No, it has gotten loose, loose, looser <laughs> than it was. Same thing over here. Move this out, kind of move it down now. Get that out, pull this out. This right here, again, it's not tight at all. I'm, that top is tolerance really well, and I'm glad because it could have been a nightmare trying to get that out. Um, move this foot out before you do that, or it won't fit. Move this around here. Move that down just ever so slightly. Get this around down and move that down like that uh is everything in yes so then you make sure you move that out move that in there make sure this is all the way out and you have it where you need it because then move that there now be careful because this has moved all the way around. So you just want to do that like that. Move that like that. Then you can move the legs back to the position that they should be. I, I was working on this. See if this one got a little loose. It's still tight as I don't know what. Tight is tight. Now this, don't forget. Move this all the way out. Move that up. Move this up and then you can move this back down again. Pull this out, 
Move that up. Move this up. This has gotten a lot loose, even though it's super tight still. That was impossible. Like I hurt my fingers trying to get that right. Then move this down. Last but not least, or not last. You know what's last. Move that up, down. Again, move that there. Put that down there. And even though I felt it's cringy, head on. And there we go, Cerebros in robot form. Yes. Uh, man, if you enjoyed this review, let me know. And also, do all the things that help me out. Um, and I will get up with you in another video. This has been Influence, and I'm out. Man, you know. Life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.